I ain't losing my focus I was going through pain, but I'm making it go All these wounds on my body, I'ma cover and close Like it's snow on the bluff, we just keeping it rolling Everybody wanna know how I'm keeping it going I don't think it is harder to know. I've been putting my vision in work Alright y'all, bro, as y'all can see I'm back here making another dumbass video Um Bro, yeah bro I'm back here making another dumbass video, bro As y'all can tell me, I do not wanna Be, I do not wanna make this video, bro like, I do not want to be on the internet speaking on this shit, bro. This shit really irked my soul. You feel me, y'all? Like, like I I felt like I grew from this. You feel me? Like, I really felt like I grew from this. Y'all know me and Sierra been had of an image or, or whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, we used to go on the internet and put our business on the internet, bro. And I feel like we, we grew. You feel me? And we came so far from that. You feel me? That... That's one thing that just pisses me off the most now is going to the internet with my personal problems. You feel me? Like I said, I feel like I grew from that. But here I go again, making another one of these videos. And, bro, I just, bro, my bitter ass baby mama don't got nothing else to talk about her vlogs. So she has to bring my name down and bring our personal problems to the internet. And bro, I took a minute, y'all. I took a minute. You feel me? Like, I took a minute to make this video because I didn't want to act off emotion, bro. I didn't want to make this situation worse than what it is. You feel me? And I'm trying to be grown. I'm trying to be the man about the situation, bro. And I'm trying to take the higher route, the higher route, bro. Because I can get on this bitch and say a lot. You feel me? I can get on this bitch and say a lot, but I'm not about to drag her name i'm not about to drag c name through the there even even though even though i feel like even though i feel like i got reasons to you feel me even though i got feel i feel like i got reasons to drag her name through the dirt and, and say all this shit and say the truth but for some reason like even after all this bullshit all this bullshit and i'm not trying to play victim you feel me i'm just talking about how i feel after all this hurt that i'm feeling and all this like i'm still trying to save your ass you feel me? Like, I, I don't know if that's just the heart that I got or, or what. But all this nice guy shit, bro, is out the window. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this shit, bro, because at the end of the day, the nice guy never gets... Well, we get fucked over in the end. You feel me? It's like it never it never ends for the nice guy, bro. And, and y'all gonna see why I keep saying that throughout the story. So, um... Oh, yeah, so I'm chilling and stuff, right? And I get notifications on my phone talk about... Why you ain't doing this for Kinsley? You posting all this, but you not in her life. Can you help C out, bro? She doing it all by herself. Um, C going through it, man. Can you, like, she's a single mom. She's over there doing it by herself. Like, where you at? Why you not in your daughter's life? I'm reading all these comments like, what? Like, this shit throwing me off. As y'all, like, y'all not dumb. I upload videos every day. You feel me? No, no. Whether it's a prank, whether it's a vlog, whether... It's something, you feel me? I can't go a day without dropping no content for y'all. Like, I just feel worthless. Like, I gotta work, you feel me? I gotta get something done each and every day. So, for this past month, y'all know, y'all know that my daughter, y'all know that I haven't, y'all haven't seen my daughter in my videos, you feel me? Y'all, my bad. If I fuck up, bro, that's because I'm not really good at talking, you feel me? Like, when I get frustrated and I get angry and I get upset, like, I just that's one that's another thing I'm working on this year is trying not to explode you feel me and, and let people get underneath my skin because it's just like when I get upset and shit like I'm not good at explaining shit I can't talk it's just I just be angry you know but I'm working on that so if I talk in circles and shit y'all if I repeat myself just bear with me my bad um but I don't even know what I was saying I'm I'm I know I'm gonna get back into it but uh I know this is different but yeah man you're not about to get on the internet and play with my name bro you're not about to get on the internet and 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 make me look like a bad father and look make me like a bad dad knowing knowing how how much i care about my daughter knowing how much i love my daughter i show the world my daughter bro like i show the world my daughter my daughter flaws everything i love everything about my daughter bro i don't care what's wrong with my baby bro that's my baby that's my blood and you gonna sit here and try to drag my name through the dirt just because of our, our, our personal problems, bro? Just because you don't got nothing else to talk about in your vlogs? I could I could have did the same shit, y'all. 
a month ago when the whole big incident went down i could have made i could i could have made a video and brought this shit to the internet and made money off of it all type of shit but but wonder why i didn't do that shit because i don't i'm tired of all this negative all this personal shit this shit is this shit's lame. I don't want to be doing this video, but I have to. I got to clear up my name, bro, because you're not about to just be making me seem like I'm a deadbeat dad, and and I go hard for my baby. I show the world my baby. You feel me? I, that's my world, bro. So I, I know I, I just get the yapping, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So this is the reason why I haven't seen my baby in a whole month. You feel me? Um, I'm going to start off like this. Me and Sierra had... I want to say had, but I'm going to just say has because I still feel the same way and I'm pretty sure she still feels the same way. And this whole incident was was uncalled for. It, it wasn't, I'm, I'm being 100. I'm not trying to be on this bitch and say it's not my fault, it's not my fault. It literally wasn't my fault. Everything, it just blew up and it happened too fast. But me and Sierra has, has an agreement of like having girls around Kinsley or her having niggas around Kinsley. We both don't play that at all. You feel me? We don't we don't play them games at all. I don't play about having different females around my baby and and having different hoes coming in and out. No, I don't play none of that. You feel me? My baby's not going to be seeing none of that. I don't even want my baby around none of the girls that I do talk to. You feel me? And my baby's not going to really just meet somebody until I'm really with them. You feel me? And that's like a real relationship. And, not, and that's not on my mind at all. I don't want to be in no real relationship right now. You feel me? So... Me and Sierra has an, a, 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 a thousand percent agreement with that. You feel me? Because we done seen out our own two eyes how people treat their kids and leave them un, un, unsupervised. Not watching their kids right. You feel me? Letting them see whatever. Having people just all up on them. Random people. and just, we, we don't like that. We don't move like that. You feel me? And I'm glad that even though that we broke up, we still st stood on that business. You feel me? So, this is how it's going to go. This is how the whole incident happened, right? So... And the reason why I got to explain this incident is because it's going to show y'all and y'all going to see why I don't have my baby, why I haven't had, why I haven't seen my baby in a whole month. So basically, um, Kaya, uh, there's these two girls, right? And Kaya invited them over here, right? We all know the girls. The girls been around us for months and months. And like, this is not new people. You feel me? This is not new people. And obviously, we feel comfortable enough to let let them come over to the FOE house where we all lay our head at. So they all, they over here and stuff like that. And my room is the chill room, y'all. Like, everybody be in and out of my room. My door, I keep my door open. Um, I don't just, I'm not the type of person to be snuck up in my room all day. You feel me? I keep my door open. Kaya come here all the time and chill. Jay Long come here and chill. Lodi come here and chill. Um, and all types of stuff. So my room is like the chill room, right? So they was over here doing videos and stuff, right? And my, my daughter's over here. Whoever we let over here, we obviously feel comfortable with over here, right? So y'all know I'm, I'm co-parenting, right? I'm co-parenting and I have my daughter and I stay in the house with other people. And as other people know, I have my daughter, right? So we don't, and we all be on the same page. This ain't no whole house, you feel me? We don't, nobody in this crib just have hoes running in and out, just going crazy. We don't, we don't play that over here. You know, everybody might have, they live one or two little years and then they be, that's cool. But at the same time, everybody respect people's boundaries over here, you feel me? So that's one thing for sure. This ain't no whole house and y'all gonna see why I'm saying that. So basically, um, Kaya had uh, invited these girls over here to do a video. They came over here and stuff, and they was doing, did the videos. And one of the girls was was in my room, right? Was literally just got in my room right before she got here. Like she, it wasn't even ten minutes, five minutes. I'm sitting here editing my video, right? I'm sitting here editing my video. The girl come in here, uh, she sit on my bed. She talks, she say something to me. Like we all cool with everybody her coming and sitting on my bed it's like her going sitting on loaded bed it's like her going sitting on jay long bed you feel me it ain't it ain't none of that while my daughter here you feel me i don't play none of the games i'm not about to have none of my hoes over here while my daughter here i'm not about to be laid up in the bed with a with a female while my daughter's here but i don't play that shit at all man i don't i don't play that shit at all bro i'm dead ass so this whole situation already got me pissed off because like, I'm getting the back end of the, sh of the stick. I'm not being able to see my daughter. I'm getting bashed, all this shit. And I really ain't do shit wrong. So, basically, the girl was sitting in here. Um, but my baby here. You feel me? But but Kenzie here. Um, I'm not going to tell the girl, get out. My my baby's here. You feel me? Like, she was just telling, like talking to me. You feel me? Like, she ain't doing nothing wrong. And she's not somebody I got to kick out my room 
or like somebody that I'm trying to hide or do anything with. You feel me? It's not like Sierra walked in here and seeing me and her laid up in the bed and I got my baby in, in, a, in a room with me. Like, nigga, what? Man, nigga, I grew up way better than that, bro. My mama taught me way better than that. Nigga, I don't play that shit at all when it comes to my daughter. So basically, um, the girls in here sitting on the bed talking to me and shit. Um, she said she about to come pick over a rice pot, a rice pot or, or something like that, right? So I said, okay, let me know when you're outside. I, I was going to bring it out. Um, she takes me back like, uh, open the door, I want to see my baby or something like that. Okay, fine. You can come see Kenzie. I'm not about to hide our baby from you. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> and the girl, <clears throat> when she texted me, that girl, the girl was still sitting here, right? So I, I, I already know, listen, bro, I know Sierra like the back of my hand, bro. Sierra was the closest person I've ever gotten to in my life. She knows me like the back of my hand. I know her like the back of, back of my hand. And we know what we don't allow, what we do allow, everything about each other. You feel me? So when she sent me that, I already know. I, I said in my head, I'm like, damn. I, I say, bro, I already know, like, Sierra about to just think the most. She about to go crazy and, and just think all this and that. So, I'm not about to tell the girl, hey, you got to get out the room because my baby mother's coming over here to see Kinsley. For what? If I was really trying to hide her, y'all, don't y'all think I could have easily said, brought her upstairs or put her in loaded room or put her in Jay Long room or put her, bro, in this big ass house? You don't think if I was really trying to hide the girl, I could have brought her upstairs somewhere or told her to go hide in the fucking closet? No, I'm not trying to do nothing with the girl. I'm literally editing my video. I'm not on that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not no little boy. I'm a grown ass man. You feel me? I done groove on a lot of shit. I don't do weird ass shit like that. So I'm not going to tell the girl, hey, you got to get out because my baby mama coming. No, that's lame in my opinion. Like, like that's that, that's just weird. You feel me? And especially, I'm not trying to do nothing with you while my daughter's here. So, whenever she sent that text, I already knew it was, it was about to be up. Like, I in my head, I'm like, man, she about to come in here. Boom, boom, boom. So, when she finally get here, um, I bring Kinsley out, right? I bring Kinsley out the room, and I shut my door. And the reason why I shut my door is because, like, y'all know my my room is closest to the main door. I didn't want me to be right here, Kenzie, Kenzie right here, and the girl right here, and see her come in and think it's a whole, like, all that going on. And it's not that. I'm trying to already make sure whatever she thinking that's going on don't happen. You feel me? Like, that's the reason why, like, when I walk out and I shut my door, it's because I'm just trying to cancel, like, cancel everything. You feel me? I, like... Cause I already know what's about to happen, y'all. That's why. Like, I, I don't. I'm not trying to do nothing with the girl. I'm not trying to hide her or do nothing with it. So, basically, I go into a laundry room, right? Jazz and Lodi in the laundry room. Um, we just chopping up and stuff. So I go tell him, I'm like, man, y'all. I said, I already know what's about to go down. I literally tell him, I say, bro, see her about to go in my room and she about to and she about to go crazy. And I'm not saying that because it's a girl in there that I'm messing with and I don't want to see her to see her. I'm saying that because there's another girl in my room and Sierra being the mother of my child and Sierra's not here and there's just another girl in my room. What else is she going to think? You feel me? I'm not dumb, y'all. Like, she, of course, you got the right to be mad at that because if I walked in at your place and she had another nigga there and it wasn't like her nigga, you feel me? I would be upset too. Because, like, what, you got random niggas around my, around my daughter. You feel me? So, I understand where she come from. But I'm, I'm going to clear all that up. I'm going to get into that. So, basically, uh, I'm telling her. I'm like, man, I already know what's about to go down. She about to come in here and go tripping. Boom, boom, this and that. So, as soon as I say that, bro, she hit the corner. Who the fuck is in your room? By my mom. Da, 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 who, the, who that bitch is? Got everybody going off, going off on me in front of everybody. Everybody in the crib. Everybody looking at shit. And, and bro, this is how I know I'm growing, bro. And I'm, I'm heading in the right direction, bro. And I'm trying to, and I'm still working on myself. I'm not perfect at all. Everybody got mistakes. Everybody got flaws and shit that they got to work on. But this is where I messed up at. When she went off on me and she said, who the fuck is in your room? Boom, boom, this and that. I should have calmed her down. I should have calmed her down. Brought her into somewhere private. Let her chew me out. Get on me. Get on my ass. Say everything you want. Call me this. Call me that. As soon as you get done, I'm explaining to you and, and literally explain to you and tell you that this is not what it's literally not what it is. It's literally not what it is. I don't have a girl in my room. I'm not trying to do anything with that girl in my room. It's just somebody else invited her to the house. You feel me? To do content. I didn't have nothing to do with that. Somebody else invited her to the house to do content. I didn't have nothing to do with that, y'all. Um, 
So my bad, I got a little brain freeze. I seen the battery, the, the, the shit about to die, y'all, my bad. So, um, oh yeah, that's what I would've did. That's, after thinking about the situation, after everything happened, that's what I should've did. That's what I should've did. Um, but I didn't, y'all. I let, I let the one person that I can honestly still say, like when I say love the most, I'm talking about like my, like relationship, why, not relationship, but like somebody I still care about, you feel me? I still got love for. I let them get underneath my skin that fast bro and it just turned me it just turned me up because number one i'm not doing anything wrong you feel me i understand that sierra walking in there thing is another girl in my room thing i'm doing this and that number one it's it's not that at all so that's number one i'm already upset at that number two i'm i'm upset because you just charged me up in front of everybody and you know that i hate arguing in front of people i hate our personal business i hate being the spotlight of the attention on some negative shit i hate it y'all i don't like that so um, I, I knew I fucked up. I ain't gonna say I fucked up. I, I knew I should have handled that better. But whenever she started going off, I started going off. Boom, boom, boom. I'm single. I can do whatever I want. Boom, boom. I'm just saying stuff because I'm mad. And me seeing that little shit is making the situation worse, y'all. It's making the situation worse. After after the whole thing happened, bro, and I sat there and started thinking about it, I'm, even though I'm trying to defend myself, I'm making the situation worse. And I realized that. Um, but yeah, but yeah, so, so I started going back and forth with her. I, I started going back and forth with her. Oh, no. All right, y'all, my bad, bro. My, the battery had died, bro. It messed up my mojo, all type of shit, my thoughts. But what was I saying? I, I think I left, I left off at the part where, uh, we just start getting into it, right? And I had realized later that I should never let her get under my skin like that. But I had blew up, right? Cause she just going off on me in front of everybody. Who the fuck is this bitch? Boom, boom, this and that. The girl don't even know what's going on. Like it's at that at this time because like after talking to her, she she didn't she didn't know what's going on. She was literally sitting on, on, on her phone because like she like don't know what's going on because there's nothing for her to know what's going on. She didn't know Sierra was coming over here because I'm not sitting here telling her, hey Sierra's coming over here. We gotta do this and that. Like what the fuck? No. It's none of that. It's none of that at all. So, um, yeah, she going off. Fuck you, man. This and that. You trying to do this and that. Why I got my daughter? Why you got my daughter in the room? So she going. She going off. And me, I'm already. I ain't gonna say embarrassed, but all the attentions on us. We going off on each other in front of everybody. I'm mad. I'm mad because I know I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm not trying to do nothing wrong, but it seems like I'm doing the most fucked up thing. You feel me? Is having another girl around my daughter or trying to do something around my daughter. And I know she and I know she felt like I was trying to do something around my daughter because she say, You trying to get your you trying to get your D sucked and and uh why my daughter right there? I, and we just going back and forth, y'all. You feel me? Everybody trying to calm us down. Uh everybody in the house trying to calm us down. Jordan, chill, see chill, boom, this and that. We just going back and forth, boom, 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 because I'm 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 mad, I'm upset. But at the time I'm not thinking. I'm just acting off of anger, off of emotions. And I was saying shit that I didn't mean, bro. I was, I was, I was saying shit out of anger, defending myself, and that made me dig deeper and and throw low blows and shit. But I, the only reason why I threw low blows is because she started talking about my money and and shit first, like during the argument. Ever since you boom this and that, and you 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 just got your own room this and that, like why are you bringing up my my personal stuff? Why are we bringing up anything financial? You feel me? I don't like to bring financial. I don't like to bring money into stuff. I don't like to bring money into into situations like this because money don't got nothing to do with it, bro. Me and C came from nothing together. I hate, and I I fucked up, bro. You feel me? And as a man, bro, I'm proud of myself that I I understand that and I realize that. And it was eating me up for days after it happened because even though I was defending myself, even though. I didn't do nothing wrong, even though like she brought up my stuff first and start talking about my money and stuff first, I still feel bad because I should never step that low. You feel me? My mama didn't raise me like that. You feel me? I don't like talking about where people at in life. I don't like talking about money. Even somebody is rich or broke. I don't like doing that because I came from having nothing. You feel me? And I and yes, I'm doing good for myself now. And I'm super blessed and I'm super grateful super humble super grateful because i know and i've been there i've been doing youtube before when i make some money and then it all went away 
I understand that this shit can get taken away and just like that. You feel me, bro? I'm not the type of nigga that makes some money and, and like I'm bigger and better and none of that, bro. I hate shit like that, bro. I'm one of the, the most humblest down to earth ass niggas and I'm so grateful, bro, because I understand, bro. Because I've I been in the position, bro, I had to go move back with my mama. When I had to go move back with my mama while everybody was, was eating and, and doing that shit, I was alone at my mama crib. Fucked up, y'all. No money. Depressed. Depression. Going through depression. Not eating. Skinny as hell. I know how it feels. You feel me? So, I'm throwing low. I'm, I'm throwing low, bro. I'm throwing low blows because, and I'm saying fucked up shit because I'm angry. And she's saying shit. And one thing about C, y'all, she quick with it. She quit. Like, She'll get on my ass and boom boom. And I'm the type I, I get so mad. I don't I can't I can't go back and forth. I just blow up. You feel me? I'm not the type of nigga that that'll sit there and argue with somebody. I'm ready to get to it, bro. You feel me? Like I I just get so upset and I blow up. I can't I start stuttering over my words and shit. So Sierra, I ain't gonna lie, like why we going back and forth, she eating me up, she going off on me, boom, boom, boom. And I'm saying shit back, but I'm just so mad, y'all. And um and yeah, bro, so that happened. So that, that that happened. So basically this whole thing why I can't see my baby happen because um because Sierra think I was trying to do some inappropriate stuff in front of my daughter, which and had nothing to do like that. You feel me? Like I don't play none of that shit at all, y'all. Her being in my room right here with Kinsley, or Kinsley in the room, or everybody in the living room and Kinsley run out the room, what's the difference? She's still around my baby. What's the difference? She's not harming my baby. She's no. She, I feel comfortable around her. Everybody knows her. She's not a stranger. You feel me? I don't know if she just got mad because she walked in here and she just seen another girl in my room. And, and she just, all type of thoughts just start flowing through her head. You feel me? I, I don't know. But at the end of the day, bro, I was not trying to do nothing like that. I, I hate that fact that this shit even happened. You feel me? Like, I, I don't want to be going through this shit. I don't want to be on this bitch talking about my personal problems with Sierra. You feel me? And, but, but one thing, bro, you're not about to do, see, bro, you're not about to get on this bitch and, and throw subliminals and throw smart remarks and make it seem like I'm just a deadbeat and I'm, a, and I'm, and I'm not trying. I tried to hit your line. You know what you said to me? You said, I'm dead to you and Kinsley. You blocked me on everything. I hit you up. I'm trying to see my baby. I got to go through you. I haven't texted your mama to see my baby. I text my mama. You tell my mama, oh, yeah, you can see Kinsley, but you can't tell Jordan that you got her because I don't want her seeing him. Like what? Like how? Why? How are you gonna put my mom in that position? My, me and my mama talked, and my mama cried because she she wants to see her grandbaby, but she feels like she can't see her grandbaby because she gonna tell me because I'm her son and she wants me to see my daughter. Man, bro, y'all, I didn't want to get on this bitch and drag nobody. I didn't get on this bitch to say F Sierra, bro, nothing like that, bro. Me and Sierra came from nothing together. Through all this bullshit, through all this back and forth on the media all these years, bro, I still love that girl. I love that girl. I don't know. And sometimes I sit back and I think, like, what is it? Like, what is it? Is it soul ties? I still love that girl to death. So I didn't, I'm not getting on here to bash her. I'm not getting on her here to, to, to talk about what she doing, where she at, none of that. I'm the same nigga that, even though we wasn't together, I'm doing videos with her. I'm bringing her over here to do videos with her so she can do videos with other people so she can run up her bag. I'm the same nigga that tells Sierra, tells Sierra all the time, even though we're not together, I still want to see you win. Even, even if, if, if it's with another nigga. I'm not that type of nigga. I'm not that petty, weird, lame ass nigga. You feel me? I don't want to be going through this shit. I would love to, to get back to co-parenting and, and, and laughing and, and shit and getting past this shit. But I had to come to the internet because you're not about to play with my name, bro. I'm not about to play with my name like I don't love my baby to the moon and back like that ain't my world like Kinsley like I'm not waking up for this past month every day hurting behind this smile every time I get on my camera and I'm vlogging bro that shit's to keep me busy man that shit's to keep me busy because if I'm not busy I'm in this bitch I'm in my room smoking all day thinking about my baby I'm not about to get on camera and bring my personal problems to the internet I don't want to be doing this I want to be able to call Sierra right now and, and make a joke with her you feel me like, bro, me and Sierra co-parenting shit was going so good at one point that me and her was laughing. And we say, and we say it's going to be hard for whenever we get in a real relationship with somebody else. It's going to be hard for them to understand me and Sierra's relationship or friendship. Yeah, like, like, you feel me? Like, that we was talking, saying, like, uh, they just going to understand, like, the type of love we got for each other. It's, it's just that. But, Sierra, I didn't get on here to bash you, bro. 
none of that shit out of, and, and it's crazy because all this anger and all this this hate I, I've been feeling towards you this whole time, bro. Through it all, um, I still trying to, I still find a way to still have love for you, bro. You feel me? And the part that where I don't, I'm not getting my baby nothing for nothing for 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 Christmas or nothing in general, bro. I just went fucking Christmas shopping for her, and I bought her a whole iPad, not for me, for her, but honestly, really for you because it's gonna. All right, y'all, my bad, bro. The camera died twice, bro. I don't know if this, I, I don't know. The camera just died, bro, so I had to come on my phone. But what I was talking about, oh, yeah, let's talk about the Christmas shit, bro. So when I was talking about the iPad and shit, bro, I'm buying the iPad. I was, I'm buying the iPad for Kenzie, but really to help Sierra out. Sierra out. And, then, and this is this shit happened like a week before Christmas. So even on Christmas Day, whenever I know I, have, I can't see my baby, Sierra got me blocked on everything. She, she got me blocked on everything, but... Want me to try my best to go through everybody else and get in contact with her to try to see my baby. Why you want me to play Superman when when just grow up? Grow up. Okay, we go through something, even if it's big or small. You you block me out everything, and then you had the nerve to get on the internet calling me a deadbeat. Like, just because you don't got nothing to talk about in your vlog. Like, what the fuck? Don't bring my name down just because you don't got shit to talk about. But with the iPad shit, I mean, with Christmas shit, I... I I called my mama and my mama had got in contact with, with her and basically uh, told her that uh, I got her, I was getting her stuff, I'm out Christmas shopping and this and that and I got her this and um, the thing with the clothes is I told, I tell Sierra, I tell Sierra, pick out all the clothes that she want, you, that you want for her to have, you feel me? Send me the link because she be ordering offline cause so she can get it in bulk orders, right? I say, I told my mama to tell her, send me the link, I'm just send the money so we can get it so I get my baby something. You tell my mama, no, nah, he, he, we good. We good. We don't want nothing of Jordan. We don't want nothing, nothing, none of this shit. You is hurting our baby by doing that just because you and your own feelings. So just because you and your feelings and, and we got a problem going on, which this situation could have been fixed a long time ago. But when I do hit you up to talk about it, I'm dead to y'all, right? I shitted on you in front of everybody. I didn't shit on you in front of everybody, bro. Yes, I probably did say some fucked up things, which I apologize for. And I'm truthfully sorry. And people around know that I'm sorry because I, I talked to them about this shit. Even though I was defending myself, even though you started coming at me first, you start talking about my bread first, my financial shit first. Like, I don't know, bro. This whole situation throwing me off. You feel me? I haven't seen my baby in a month. I haven't seen my daughter in a month. I've been trying. What else to do? I go through my mama. I go through your mama. I, I try to go through you. Who, who, I, I can't go through nobody else. There ain't nobody else to go through. I'm not going to, I'm not taking this shit to legal issues. Fuck no. I'm not getting court involved. I'm not doing all that shit to see my baby. We got to grow up. You feel me? I've been on this bitch explaining y'all the reason why I haven't seen my baby. There's a reason why I haven't seen my baby. You feel me? You're not about to get on this bitch and make me seem like a deadbeat. Like, bro, like I haven't came back 2023 last year, came back, got on my shit, bro. Like I haven't got on my shit and, and trying to help people out. I'm the same nigga that's about to, that was about to give you ban, a ban, bans, whatever. I was about to give you money to move into your apartment, to help you out, to make sure you straight. You're the mother of my child. You're the same person I was broke with. We came up together. And, the, and I'm... And, and I'm so much of a good-hearted nigga. We came up doing YouTube together, right? We broke up. We boom, boom, boom. I go through my personal issues and shit like that. I'm doing my shit now. I'm I'm doing my shit by myself on, using the same platform. That's why I, I, I'm I'm bringing you around. I'm doing videos with you and stuff like that to make sure you're good because I genuinely want to see you do good in life. Like, I was, wasn't with you for five years for no reason. And for for some reason, I don't know, through all this bullshit, through all this internet, social media shit, bro, you, I, I still got love for you, bro. Like, even though how much I sit up in the bed and I tell myself I'm thinking about my daughter, you you holding the thing I love the most in this world away from me. I'm sitting in this bed trying to hate you, but I can't. But I can't. I don't know why. But I'm not about to sit back and get fucked over. Yeah, I'm nice. Yeah, I have a good heart. Yeah, I love hard. I love fucking hard. Why y'all think y'all haven't seen me pop out with another bitch? Because I don't play that shit. You feel me? I can't, I don't know. I can't be in a real relationship and and hop out and go into another one. I love too hard, bro. 
I ain't going like I love too hard. I I I don't know, and I, I ain't trying to get off track, y'all. I ain't trying to yap and this and that. I I hope that I under I explained the story good, y'all. Um, yeah, bro. I hope I explained the story good, bro. I wasn't trying to talk in circles. I know the video kept cutting in and out, bro. I didn't want to make this video. I got all type of thoughts, emotions going through my head, so I apologize, y'all. But at the end of the day, I didn't get on this bitch to bash Sierra. You feel me? I want Sierra to prosper. I want her to like, I want her to win in life. When I'm seeing them comments and y'all telling me she's tired, you need to go help out with baby Kenzie. How you gonna leave her all alone? That shit is fucking with me. That shit is fucking with me, y'all. Cause it's already bad enough that my baby is about to grow up and grow up in a fucking broken home, bro. And I think about that shit every day. I think about that shit every day, how my baby is going to grow up in a fucking broken home. And I don't want that shit. To this day, I don't want that shit. So, yes, every time when she come over here and we co-parents and I look at her and it just like be something telling me, like, try to make it work. You feel me? Bro, I love my fucking daughter, bro. I love my daughter. Don't, I don't want nobody but not ever come to no fucking internet playing about me with my daughter. Yes, this past month, I haven't seen my daughter. I haven't got her nothing because her mama won't fucking let me. That's the difference. You feel me? I'm not one of these lame-ass, deadbeat-ass niggas that's just going to sit back and and let the mama take care of all that shit. Man, hell, I laid in that bed with Sierra for five years straight. Sierra had my kid. I got to step up and be a dad. I understand there's going to be times where I can't go to the club. I'm a, I got to stay at home with my daughter. I've done that before. I understand I'm going to have to miss out on, on certain shit because I have a daughter. I've done that before. I know how to be a fucking man, bro. And having my daughter taught me a whole lot, made me grow up real fast. Everybody in this world and whoever knows me and be around me or, or knows Kinsey being around Kinsey know how I'm coming behind my daughter. Know how I fucking love my baby. So don't get on this bitch and play with me and play with me like I'm a deadbeat, bro. Because Lord, Lord knows right now, if you call my phone, nigga, I'm coming. Lord knows if you call my phone right now, you, you know I'm He know I'm coming. I'm coming to get you and I'm coming to get my daughter. So at the end of the day, bro, I could have got on this bitch and made the situation a lot worse. I could have got on here and bashed her, talked about her, talked about what she go through, all this type stuff. But it's not about that. It's not about that. And I'm pretty sure she probably feel the same way talking about how she can talk about my about me and this and that. But me personally, I came on here to defend my name without trying to bash somebody else, bro. You feel me? It's 2024. I'm not trying to be beefed up with my baby mama. I'm trying to have a good-ass relationship with Sierra. And Sierra knows what type of relationship we can have, bro. We done done it before. Co-parenting him together, all type of shit, bro. We can do this shit. This shit is lame. I don't want to be on this shit explaining my fucking self. I don't want to be bringing my personal problems to the internet. But once again, you're not going to get on the internet and play me like I'm a fucking deadbeat when you know I don't go for that shit. Look, bro, that was, that's really it, man. Um, At the end of the day, Sierra, um, and the fact that I know that Sierra thought I was doing something with the girls because she had told my mama that I was doing doing inappropriate, inappropriate things with the girl in front of my daughter, which is a fucking lie. Like, what the fuck, man? Bro, this situation happened for no reason, bro. Me and Sierra was doing good. Me and Sierra was doing good co-parenting. My baby over here. It's just the devil just be trying to work, y'all. But at the end of the day, Sierra thought I was doing inappropriate things with another girl in front of my baby. And that's why I can't see her. And it ain't nothing like that. I didn't invite the girl over. The girl didn't even come over here for me at all. Shit. She just was Sierra just happened. She just happened to be in my room. Which everybody comes in my room all the time. The time that Sierra walks in walk, or come over. You feel me? Like like I said, it could be the same as her fucking sitting in J. Long room or, or loaded bed. But she was just sitting on the edge of my bed. And when I, when I went out there, Sierra, I guess, came in the room, seen her in here, and she went off on me. And it just went bad. That's it, bro. I did, I'm not laying in no bed with no... I'm not laid up with no female... And for while my daughter here, I'm not trying to do no nasty shit with my daughter here. Nigga, I'm 25 years old. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not, I don't do all that shit. Nigga, I don't play that. Not with my baby here. Nigga, what? Nigga, I tell any female, any nigga to his face when it comes to my daughter. I don't play that. You feel me? I don't play that. This ain't no whole house or none of that. 
You feel me? Y'all wonder why I go get my apartment and I go, why I gotta get it. Even if I was at my apartment and I had my daughter with me and and somebody else is over there or somebody else from my FOE squad is over there and they and somebody else want to come over here to shoot content that I know. That's my job. They can work. They can do that. You feel me? And I already explained this here. There's going to be other content creators that's females that's going to come and that's going to be around when my baby's here. I'm not going to shut my door and shut my baby in this room just because a, a content creator come over here and they make a quick video. No, I'm going to keep my door open like I always do. I'm going to let my baby run in and out because everybody in this house knows my Kenzie like to run around. She like to run around. She like to run out the room, come back in the room. My baby's just energetic. So I'm not about to shut her in a, in, in a room or I'm not about to tell nobody that they can't come in my room. You feel me? Because it's work at the end of the day. It's content. They just over here shooting content. I'm not trying to do no freaky shit. I'm not trying to do no nasty with nobody while my baby's in the room. And I hate the fact I'm even talking about this shit, bro. Um, yeah, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. I tried. I tried to hit C up. She said I, I'm dead to her. Um, yeah, bro. I tried to hit her up. So, I don't know what else to do. I didn't want this shit to come to the internet. I didn't want this shit to hit social media. I pray that, that w w in due time, me and Sierra can just have a sit down. You feel me? Like, whatever hate she has towards me, let me know. Tell me what you don't like. I, I I admit it to everything. I admit that I admit that where I fucked up at in that situation. I should never let her get underneath my skin. I should have calmed her down and let her know the real. No, I let her fucking get underneath my skin. I was already in the spotlight of everybody, and I just she was going off on me, going crazy. So I just started going off on her and saying shit I don't even mean saying shit because I'm in a moment and I'm mad. All this shit for no reason. And I haven't seen my baby for a month. Like, what if my baby don't recognize me again? What if I bring my baby around? She don't recognize people. She got to get used to our face again. Because that happened before. When I wasn't around, I went back to Dallas. I had to move back to my mama because I was fucked up. Because I didn't have no money or nothing, bro. When I came back in my daughter's face, my daughter didn't even know me. So you think I'm going to sit here and want to be a fucking deadbeat? Sit up here? Bro. I get up and I work every day. I go hard every day. You think this shit just for me? You think this shit just for me? Bro, I got so much shit I want to do, y'all. And that's a whole nother story. And I know I keep fucking, I'm about to end it and I keep talking. I keep, bro, that's because I'm just getting shit off my chest, bro. Like, I don't want to be dealing with this shit this year. You feel me? Like, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. But me and C going to get this, got to get this shit right and we going to get this shit right. You feel me? I don't want to be fucking going back and forth on the internet with Sierra. I want to see Sierra win. I want to see her go hard. Like, like, I've said, like I've said in this video already, I told Sierra face to face, I just want to see you win, bro, with or without me. And that's one thing I can actually say. Like, I ain't trying to go too deep into me and her relationship and shit because we've been broken up. But one thing me and C did when it came to our relationship, bro, we both tried. We tried for sure. Even in times where we felt like we was forcing this shit with each other. Nigga, we tried. And we tried. So I don't know if y'all believe in that soul tie shit or or I, I just she just somebody I just just got a special place in my heart. But to this day, right now, after all these this you she taking the thing I love the most away from me in this world and I still don't hate her. I don't know, bro. But like I said, bro, I'm about to end this video, bro. That's the thing. That's that's why I can't see my baby right now. Um, I don't know why she's bringing my name down. And the video and shit making it seem like I'm just a fucking deadbeat. When every time you call my phone, whether you need it or my baby need it, I gave it to you. I never told you no. You can't bring up one time when I told you no. I sent it whenever I couldn't even send it. I sent it. I sent shit whenever I, I I couldn't even send it. So, yeah, bro. I, I'm I'm about to be done with this shit, bro. I love y'all. Y'all know how I am about my daughter. Y'all know how I am about Kenzie, bro. And this deadbeat shit. I wake up every day and I'm I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting behind the fucking smiles on camera shit and these vlogs and shit I'm doing. Nigga, when I'm get home and I'm by myself early in the morning, I spark my wood up, nigga, I'm thinking about Kinsley. What y'all talking about, nigga? Don't play with me with this deadbeat shit, nigga. I don't play that. Nigga, when it comes to my daughter, nigga, I don't, I don't play that shit at all, man. I don't. Y'all not about to get on this bitch and talk and say how I'm a fucking deadbeat. But once again, like I'm going to keep talking in circles. I'm going to just keep going. So, man, I love y'all, bro. 
I don't know when I'm going to be able to see my baby, but y'all know whenever I do see my baby, y'all will know. Um, when I do see her, of course, I'm going to spend some quality time with her. I'm not going to pull out no fucking camera. I'm not pulling out no none of that. You feel me? But whenever that day comes, it, it's going to come. So I just want to make this video with y'all, bro, really just defending my name and really just let y'all know the real of the real reason of what happened. You feel me? I didn't want to come on this bitch and make the video, but for me explaining myself, I had to let y'all know the reason why I can't see my baby. So hopefully one day I get to see her, bro. Like I said, I didn't get on this bitch to bash nobody. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not getting on this bitch to drag Sierra name. I'm not, I didn't get in here to say nothing bad about her. I want to see that girl win. I want to see her do right in life. I pray things get right one day and everything just happens for a reason, man. I, I don't know. So y'all stay prayed up. I, I, I stay prayed up. You feel me? We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep working, y'all. But, yeah, that's really it. I don't got nothing else to say. I think I did a good job. I think I explained everything, bro. And, yeah, bro, that's it. I ain't even know who, but they ain't Ryan for me. I ain't even got lock and they keep trying to clone me. If it ain't about racks, all that postpone. If it's crazy, I see it. I'm good on my lonely. If it's crazy, I see it. I'm good on my lonely.